more backup. And lock down the airspace. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes! He's the day, Willie! Heads up! Hey, where you going? Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? Eight years of this insolence. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. now? Yeah, maybe later. Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Whoop! Gotta go! Good luck, Willy. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiot! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month, you'll wish you had me back! You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power dampener. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Davis, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Parker! Dr. Octavius, I, uh, uh what you got there? Chinese. If I know you'd be here, I would've... What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. Of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're... Oh, come on, Parker. It's obvious. L -l let me explain. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to. But I was afraid that if word got out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Yes. Uh, I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it. Hey, 
Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years... You helping me through college and working here and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. Sleep it off. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know. Uh... Maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. Wait here, please. Wait, I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This, this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. 
Be quick. Of course. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean you have a reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh, my God. No, I will not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. I don't believe you. Uh-huh. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why did the cops take it? I know this statue opens. That's it. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. So is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Honey. It's exactly how I pictured it. antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. 
This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an office. It was. There. They blew the locks to get in. Smash and grab. They were moving fast. There's a fenced-off room here they didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in. We can just peel back the wire mesh over the tunnel. They didn't want the non-lethal stuff. They passed up smoke grenades, flashbangs. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! decides to run on time. Oh, my God. 
just got a web alert. Huh. Looks like MJ's story just got published. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so... so? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Find him in the middle of something here, Jim. It sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be all right. Uh, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. All right, listen, I, 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 I gotta go find Dad, okay? No, wait, come on, no. Why, no! Dad's in there. I'll find him. right there. Can't cross yet. Gotta find a way around these guys. Okay. I was right there. Gotta help him. Now. No. no! Enough! We have to leave. Now! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. Nice entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later.
Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but... But why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee! Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. 
GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's, this is crazy. GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find devil's breath. Hey, Pete, what's up? MJ, get this. Devil's breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stop. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? Uh, uh, what the... Charles! Oh, what that was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> hey, hey, Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by uh, getting comfortable with the place? Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee, all right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic. It fits. Good one, kid. <laughs> oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Huh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these. CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Time. Get it. Go. Or, could be a loose glass cable. <laughs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty here. Hero. Man to do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. There he is. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Thanks. Uh, listen, kid, I'm, I'm sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. See if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May, I gotta take off, but uh, brought some help for you. Hey, Miles, it's nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Hey, Yuri. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, oh, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. <sighs> Michael's alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. Sorry! Let's be honest, I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you.
wanted to use him. A futile gesture in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! <sighs> one way or the other, you will join me. Uh-oh. Let's kick it up a notch. Okay, now I'm just showing off. Okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. That is Goya. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. Do you really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. This Gaia microbe dispersal device releases specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere, and in turn, leaves...
This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Elise! Over here! Osborne's office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. But by yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. Train's moving. Police getting away. No brakes, no problem. <sighs> that totally worked last time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? <sighs> Next up, prison. Just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? Wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. But how did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. No one can take this away from us. Amazing. I... And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. Doctor? Doctor, I've found a potential problem. Everything has problems if you look hard enough. But fortune favors the bold. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I just think we need some more We've testing. We've had enough testing! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. Otto, you're not a failure. But this could permanently damage your mind. 
please. Right. Right. Don't worry. We're close. I'll keep at it. I'll work out some bugs. Go. Go. You sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you, Peter. For... For everything. Martin Lee is now behind bars. When I make a promise to this city, I keep it. The people of New York will soon make a decision that could change the course of this city forever. So when you're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! You have no idea what you're in for. Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. The Devil's Breath is gone, but we've got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? I thought you said the raft was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I love the optimism, but in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Uh! Ah! Yuri! I'm slipping! Gotcha! Hold on! Uh! You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! How do you like my new suit? It's dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. First and final warning. Stay out of our way.
Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. Any pieces? Okay, sure. Available to around the clock on its surface as necessary. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raptus JDs. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence, and many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp heard it all. Should check on Sparky. What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. <laughs> down. Now's my chance. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. 
Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Scientific journals debating this Spider-Man problem. It's so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, signal presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Word they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Order for a key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as a code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Doors are locked to the system checking issues. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portraits. Norman must like spy movies. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. I need to find a keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax and Bellow. Peace and war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Said he's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. What a hero. Hey, Dad. On the way to Dr. Michael's one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna get me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Looks like that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. The photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. <laughs> Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, in case he's left room for more. Any besides hiring Norman? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested?
Norman and Otto. Wow, they look like they used to be so close. How could it ruin their friendship like this? Paris, Mom, Emily. We used to make fun of them for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a cold. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. July 18. Bingo. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. We tried going back to the evening news. Somehow, they picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. We tried going back to the evening news. Somehow, they picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C team. Good old Alpha team. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow, so many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <laughs> Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of stable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Dr. Strong. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's, nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's, a records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath lab. 
Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Siebel presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Templin Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Templin Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin E. incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. Wait. No! Who's there? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got her. Pete, you hear? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. Crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. This is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. 
That could be Norman's helicopter. did to me. You're more than your past. Don't let it control you. I tried so hard to make my parents proud, to honor their legacy. His pain, his anger, it's fueling his power. sample. Bring your parents back. Why do you insist on trying to save this piece of scum? I'm trying to save you, Martin. Don't let revenge win. Fight it!
I know. But this is the wrong way, Mark. That look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat him. Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. All right. That's not it. Maybe it's this one. No. <sighs> you did the impossible, Doc. destroy it on a little creation of my own Me to 
you beg? Not gonna happen. <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. No! what you did I never everything you have is built on lies lies you stole my company my ideas now the truth the truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. <laughs> your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But have it your way. We don't have much time. Please. I'm turned over the anti serum and not born paid for his crime. A disappointment. Parker. You knew? I tried.
tried to warn you, Peter. But you didn't listen. You knew. I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me! Not tired. Just hurt. If you want to change the world. You have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me. Just like all the others. Turn. Turn. I've worshipped you. Your mind. Your conscience. Wanting to help others. The way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility. ...to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it. We have to do what's best... ...for those beneath us... ...whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You were everything I wanted to be! You just... ...threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me, do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arm! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you'll rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter?
so. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. What about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. That last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dolphin stuff. Going camping? Oh, no, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't, I'm not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you asked it. I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete. Yeah. I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh, uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. No, not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show no, you. No, 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 no. <clears throat> it's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. Well, there you go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little recap video. Um, but we are starting our brand new Let's Play. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. We'll see exactly when it comes out, but... I am ready to jump in to the next game. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, subscribe for more uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. And until my next video, I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>